Tanner Groves averaged five points a game against this Cowboy team, partly because he's not really going to score inside against this length unless he scores here. Takes it strong to the 10. Cortez using that vision. Every game that the more ball handles you have, the most effective his offense can be. And Demel transfer from SMU just ran right past Jacob Groves. Here's Tanner Groves. He's in a crowd, takes one dribble, goes to the left hand. They probably don't report. They want to find him and limit his threes. There he is from the Olympics, which were in his home country in Tokyo. 2020 Olympics, which were actually in 2021 with COVID. And Jacob Groves. CJ Nolan in the lane. Couldn't finish it, but there's Tanner Groves with an and one opportunity. Drives you and spins and gets angles. Uses the size. Difficult to, difficult to stop. Just a little long with a shot, but that's Sam Griesel. They're not going to they're, they're help with it because, again, they got big physical guards. So they can, you know, it's not an overwhelming mismatch. He has height, but not size. And I'm like you. There was enough contact there that you got to give the defender the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I, I mean, when it's contact, I, I don't think you should call it. Yeah, I, I agree. Mean, you know, if, if there's contact, you call it. Now, I do think if you want to call it where a guy just completely flops, I'm okay with it. But if I have to lose a point with that, because you can very well have called an offensive flop. Well, Jacob has 12. First time this year, they both scored in double figures in the same game. And fourth time now in their second season to do so. Last year they did so against Indiana State at West Virginia and against Oklahoma State. Well, getting to that point in time in the game, too, and Nebraska's going to have to pick up the defense. They can't sit back in this matchup zone and allow time to tick away. Great finish by Tanner. And Richie Riley does a great job of getting his guys to be committed to going downhill first. I mean, how many players these days settle for the three? Sherfield goes down for that passer to connect with you. Groves missed the front end of one and one, but Jalen Hill back taps that ball and a reset here for Sherfield. Sooners have a 6 0 run in progress. Sherfield nearly got trapped in midair, and there's a post. For what a close to the half for the Sooners. 8 0 run and counting. And an opportunity for a two for one right here, Oklahoma. Tanner Groves up high. Not in there much. I love it. I mean, I, I would. I would look to do that again. You see Groves, once Samuel had it, he gave up on the play because he didn't want to pick up a cheap third. Sherfield, the lob to Tanner Groves. Oklahoma needs a bucket right here. Venom starting to shift. Tanner Groves. Going one-on-one -on -one with Miller. The timing. He got it off quickly before Hill could leave his feet and extend. Three point sooner late. Shirtfield at the controls. Feeds inside. Tanner Grove scores. Shirtfield dealing game last year at Franklin Pierce University Division II team. Shirtfield tipped in by Tanner. Sooner's doing a good job on the glass. They're a plus seven. And that was a huge emphasis today and the last several days for Porter Moser. Tanner Groves at three. That's good. Six out there for Porter Moser and the Sooners. Lead back out to 20. And Jamari Harvey did walk over to the UNCW bench. Replaced by Malik Harden Hayes now. Cortez lobs and Tanner Groves stuffs it through. There's your back door. Great job of. Groves facing up and finding Bamasek. Tanner Groves, a couple of ball fakes, just bulled. His. Yeah, he's really smooth, and he does a great job of hesitation moves. And it, it throws Nolan right there. He relaxed, and Doss able to turn the corner. There's Nolan. Great find. Tanner Groves, an easy lay-in. Nolan. Curry, transfer from Otero Junior College in Colorado, where he averaged 13 a game last season. Golden Lions really running the Sooners off the three-point line here in this first half. Bob over the top. Tanner Groves, a great job with balance. And there's a ball. That call doesn't get made. But if you're strong with it, you'll get that call. Tanner Groves trying to back down 
is Iagu, and he banks that one. Solid defense, and the left-handed jump hook misses. Yeah, no doubt, and, and it's solid because Tanner Groves had him shoved way outside the lane, and Izzy Agu really needs to be right at the rim to finish. Surefield rubs off a Tanner Groves screen. Strong to the bucket and in. Tanner Groves, the first. Mitchell Jr. is off with that three. So the Bearcats made a couple, but overall not great from the three line tonight at just now two of 13. Tanner Groves hits this three the other way for this. Off fast, and if they can do that again tonight, they will definitely have the Sooners on the ropes. Groves, another country heard from. That guy. <laughs> I mean, last year, you know, first year coach, it, it, you know, a lot of guys would have played a softer schedule and ease into it. The number two schedule in the country mm -hmm. a year ago. There goes Tanner Groves to the rim. <laughs> big play for Holmes, extending the lead. Just too big and strong for Sherfield there. Used his length to get to his spot and finish that lay. Holmes, he's just so big. He doesn't use speed as much as he does his size and his length inside the arc he can be deadly at times with his ability to get to his spot and finish the baskets watching Holmes play every time out it feels like he's seeking restitution zero scholarship offers at a high school there's a guy who had a ton really it's like trying to get over a hill no pun intended with Jalen Hill meaning they're going to get resistance here, Oklahoma, but you've got to sustain and maintain your aggressiveness on this end of the floor. Tanner Groves in Oklahoma. That's his kryptonite. Kryptonite, he gets around that length. Third block of the afternoon for Tanner Groves. He's victimized Holmes twice. Jacob Groves runs out of real estate and with 10 on the shot clock, Yuzon controls just inside half court. And they pushed Oklahoma way out. Inside. Groves will have to hurry. Well, that's a good sign. He's getting in better shape. He's feeling healthier. He's getting back to his true form. And he's attacking the rim. That was a big time move. And he is so fiscal at the defensive end. Bambis' pass deflected, but right. Wings low. Drives to the bucket. Tip for Osno. Outlet Hill. Yuzan hesitates. Three from Tanner Groves. And a Tanner Groves. Maybach threatened to shoot a three. Now he does. His eighth attempted three of the season. Yeah, I don't know if the coaching staff wants him taking a James Harden step back three. <laughs> They'd rather write it. And just love to see him back on the court. Really good young man. Mike Boynton imploring his pokes to use that offensive energy on the defensive end. I see Groves is going to go at Cisse again. Lots of shoulders and nine attempts. He's talking to the crowd a little bit. He's feeling it. A great pass. Puts Isaacs in double figures with 11 points. Tanner Groves to the final four in the Sweet 16. And now trying to rebuild that successful culture with the Sooners. Fans still on their feet here until the Longhorns score, and it's Tanner Groves in the game. Look at that effort by Dassault. Groves gets it back and gets it to go. And now Rice and Sherfield are getting to know one another. Shot fake Groves. Step through, buckets.
Ball, the young fella from Las Vegas can really shoot it from that mark. Jumper won't go for K-State's Cam Carter. Oklahoma, they're capable of big wins. Took down number two Alabama in the Big 12 SEC Challenge by 24. Nice pass in the finish. Switching on top on the screen. Hard pass down low. Groves wrestles it away from Johnson, and he gets the bounce. And We're repeating ourselves a bit much, but these are really good teams in a very good conference. How does so, Oklahoma attack this K-State pressure? Well, you just saw it. Just get it up court, get into your offense. Looks like there's a zone action here on the backside of this pressure. You can't get passive, though, if you're Oklahoma. There you go. Rhodes bangs into Eziola. I'll take he's it. able to put it through. Yeah, and I'll take Noel knocks it away for the Wildcats. Eziola, tough angle. And Groves able to secure it. Well, that's an example of how tough this league is. No foul call there. Play on, play on. Groves hits the dot. or Redding, basically not allowing the guard to get to the middle of the floor. Did a good job of picking up that foul. Rhodes three, butter. All guys for that one. Well, just remember that shot and when it took place and what the score was because I don't want to say that was luck. Let's just say a good fortune right there with a lot at stake. Good shot fake by Groves and he has a chance at a three. Well, that's Rice sliding at MJ Rice. He's just a freshman also. He's starting to get more time with all the injury problems as well. They love that he has figured out now to bring energy and athleticism and not try to come in like a shooter and he's really filled his role. He's not afraid to jack him up from deep either. Rose. A little bit. He I does like it a little too much. Take advantage size-wise, Jay. Wow, that was an athletic move by I mean, Rose. Look at So he stays in KJ Adams with two fouls. I know we've talked a lot about this recently. Do you keep him in? Do you take him out? Bill, Bill and I are talking. I, I, I'm surprised. I the physicality of this game. Pretty. And they're taking advantage. Dick, like you were saying earlier, Raph, he likes to get his guys going. He gets the dunk that they ran a play for him, but they overplayed Dick. Got Adams open. Suzanne peppers the baseline. Groves posting up. So they help a little bit at some point. Better Groves puts through and lays it in. Got it right in. Oh, wait. Spinning ran right into the defender Cryer, but there's Tanner Groves. For the I Coach, do remember that. Okay. Coach Drew can regulate him, and he did it in the end of the first half because he's not going to regulate himself. No, <laughs> no self regulation. Bam, it's still dishes off. For a stuff for Hill. Tanner Groves ah. right there with Chama Chachua. Shoot that. Tanner Groves had it blocked, gets it back, scores, and Oklahoma footer splash. That is really promising for the Cowboys. Groves looking for his brother. Instead, we'll use the dribble on Cisse. Bang into him. Spin and clear some space. Filet. Bryce got it right back. We call that a boomerang pass when there's a switch. They recognized that Jacob Groves was still on him. They threw it right back to him. Well, Tanner Groves is hitting that three. Bryce crosses over, fires in the lane, shoots and bounces off the front rim. Peters trying to cut into the 12 point lead. Give it up, Cortez to Tanner Groves. A screen from Betty Ako, and now. Bradley too strong good defense that time holding his ground was Tanner Groves Sherfield's been a little offensive funk lately and they'd like him to just contribute if you're not making shots help us on the floor body down no foul called and brothers well could be back Tanner's done Jacob can come back Jalen Hill can come back and there's Tanner. Yep. Miller again finds himself in the paint. He has held on to it and created open shots. That one off the back iron. Yeah, maybe took it one bounce too mm -hmm. deep. I mean, he was wide open with the 12-foot mark. He can shoot the three, and he will. And bury it. Great start. Back into a game. That was off of a, 
an off ball screen screen rescreen action for Griffin who's really coming on as that third fourth perimeter shooter Boy, when, when Oklahoma screens you, they tag you, they don't do. they? It's not a touch and go. Great play, you Woo. saw him. The freshman out of loss, three percent on the year in unguarded threes. And they're looking at Sears' left leg as Quinterly comes in for him. Groves is underneath. That's an easy one. He threw. Lead down to 11. It was 17 at the break. Sherfield, tough fadeaway. Too strong. Groves with a rebound, and that's up and in. He has. But the question was, will he be able to bounce back after everything that he went through? And the answer to that was yes. Yes. Resounding. Cortez to Tanner Groves. Get a ton of offense out of flow, averaging about five points per game. They get an early basket from him. There's the OU starting five, including impressive freshman Milos Yuzan. If they can get Tanner to shoot. Nice pass from the baseline. Short, but there's Tanner. Brooks. I think basketball. But a lot of times, being on the road as a young player, even though he's had some big-time road performances, had 18 points in the second half at Texas Tech. How you approach the game and the sharpness you come out in the game, I think it's pivotal for young players. You have to come out and attack right away. George went for the steal there, didn't get it. Groves, three. Got that one. Three. And that's the type of offense that you want to run if you're OU. Once again, here comes the blitz. Kick it back. Wide open shot. Every time until they change the coverage. It's easy. What a big Monday it will be. Mark, I'd like to give a big shout out to my guy, Jordan Cornette, on being a girl dad. Just had his girl a couple of months ago. Sailor, congratulations to you, JC, and Shay, your beautiful wife. You guys have an amazing family. And please don't let Joey beat up on my son, Zane. His son just towers over my son when they play together. And yet Jordan still has time to go to the studio and babysit Farnham and Cup. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. There we go, Tanner. That's what I need. Let's finish. Freshman, he was on, setting the table. Dad was a coach. He learned the game early, and it just showed he's continued to develop as a freshman. Here's a senior, Tanner. Uh, two quick fouls on Keontae George, just two in the game for Keontae. Imagine that, Mark. Screen the screener. Like, little actions yeah. like that end up working. Use hand, nice speed, and he found Tanner Groves again. Well, Oklahoma State is doing whatever they want on the offensive side. Oklahoma's defense has kind of been non existent. Back to Sherfield, scoreless in the second half after 15 in the first. No Linda. And Tanner Groves, we should be surprised now when he doesn't play well, as opposed to the other way around. So inconsistent, but this is his 105th career game. Yeah, I mean, this is his year, in a sense. This is the best basketball he's ever played. He's really worked on his low post game and become, and become a consistent scorer down low in the low block. Tanner Groves in the offseason. Nice move there by Trey Mitchell underneath. You got to think more of Trey Mitchell would be a really good thing for West Virginia right now. No, absolutely. He ends it's West Virginia's mantra to get him the ball, but he's got to work harder to get it. And then a the little uh, conversations being had between Groves and Bell as well. Trying to get downhill. Groves open again. Almost the same spot. Same result. Tanner Groves. Tanner Groves bullies his way. It would fall. Grady Dick with six points.
Bill Self tried to get him a jump shot, but Oklahoma smelled it out. Using the freshman handling here. Nice pass. Great look. Nolan finds Tanner Groves. Job of coming over to double because Yuzan was in harm's way. Excellent play. Groves thought about it. Barrels his way at the basket. Left hand. He's the four star freshman who they are very high on is going to get an opportunity to showcase what he can do. Imagine that did wonders for his confidence, certainly on the offensive end, knocking that down. Shot clock down to seven. Sooners get it to a cutting Groves and count the basket. A chance. Two teams exchanging turnovers. Cortez tries to deliver a dagger, and it's Groves who... But I like always defense. I mean, it was protect drive first, got back to Miles and contested. That's just a great player knocking down a big time shot. The Sooners started six of six. They have made just two of them. Here, Yuzan dives his way in, high off the window, and for the second straight time. Jaron Holmes was a big part of it. Caleb Grill and Dave Kalsher. Let it rip from three, something that Iowa State has done a really good job of on the three-game win streak they entered tonight on. They've hit, shot almost 46% from three over the last three games. They're 75% tonight, three for four to start. Oklahoma's leading scorer, Grant Sherfield, on the bench with two fouls. Cortez, two to shoot, lobs it up, Tanner Groves, great finish, with base. without a point for Iowa State, Grill trying to fix it, off the mark, rebound Tanner Groves. Tanner looking for his shot right there. Sooners trying to extend an 8-0 run. Lobbing it inside, and it is! That's goaltending win it. This season against the then-ranked number one team in the country, UNC, when he went off for 31, one of the all-time performances. Yeah, it might have been one of the best performances I've seen all season. He's just such an exciting player. When he sees one go in, Chucky, his eyes just light up, and he'll pull from literally anywhere. He just seems like a totally different guy this year. Sherfield is out there right now for Oklahoma. I think Grill just took an elbow to the face. That's an elite bucket. Jaron Holmes is that level of score for this Iowa State team. The veteran transfer from St. Bonaventure. Started in 77 of 78 games he played for the Bonnies. Nolan, little scoop. Handoff there to Tim. Sherfield still with two. Hill Tanner Groves gets the finish. He's playing extremely well and finally starting to get confident. Damon Lipsy, huge take to make it a five-point game. Just over two to play. Cortez, Tanner Groves. Three ball, big one. Part of his wisdom. He was a phenomenal coach, and Coach Moser is part of that tree. Rose. Three three-pointers tonight. Has it from the mid-range Sooners. Texas doesn't want to foul here. Sherfield. Desperation heave no good. Gross. Put back. Oh, no call. We head the other way. Crowd wants to foul. Miller can't finish again. Sooners looking to punch back here. Sherfield quickly across the timeline. Tanner Groves likes to mismatch. Gets inside, locks it up. Groves puts it in. Nice play by Groves.
get into the middle of the lane. He provides that athletic punch for Oklahoma. It's not a super athletic team, but Yuzon is one of the best to get hot. He's had a good first half, but he's at seven threes in a game. He can shoot it. Groves buries that one. Tanner Groves a three. Like and that. all of a sudden, they're within two. That is a big bucket by Tanner Groves. That shot is going to be there on penetration. Hey, Oklahoma. Hill flips it back to Yuzon. And good find inside by the freshman, Milo's Yuzon. Boy, that was a terrific pass. And Groves did a really nice job of holding off Castleton and just letting the pass. Yep, Florida's made just two field goals since the 11 minute mark. Little horn set. Tanner Groves gives off, Sherfield. Shot clock is under 10. Yuzon inside, finds Groves and puts it in. Yuzon does such a great job of getting into the lane. He's the most athletic player. I think that... ...is down to 10. Eddie Kyalu, he's the lone senior on the roster. And this three ball is a little bit strong. Out of the hand of Colin Cooper, who is a good three-point shooter. Yuzan the hit ahead, and Tanner Groves has the first bucket. Shot Cortez, he should get a hockey assist for that. I do, I do, you love the hockey assist. too, like that idea. Tanner Groves just pulls right over Hunter. And the reason they are struggling is more of Oklahoma's pressure. They're in the stands, they're pressuring the ball. They had him right there, Kylo wide open on that pass, but good deep ball. You up and over the That's bad. Like very, very, very good. Like to do that from two-point range. <laughs> 16-footer swirls out for Masai Oluwakari. As soon as working that middle third of the floor. A lot of drags, a lot of ball screens. And that's pretty easy. That's going to be a goal 10. Call to go left. They love running isos for Kai Lu. And you know what? I would too because he can finish. Anthony Boone told us that Kai Lu's a guy that has really grown up. Great representative of their university. Going to have his master's degree. And there's Tanner Groves. Sooners turn it over for only the sixth time. Cooper was short with that one. Bijan Cortez is having a good day on the boards today. It's his fourth rebound. And he's getting all those with two hands, just gobbling those things up. And again, he's always head and eyes are up and looking. That was a great slip right there. Just a guy that knows how to play the game. Tanner Groves. Nice drop step. From the get-go here in the second half. And the second half is underway from Norman. Pete Souza alongside Brendan Manzer. Jalen Hill inside for Tanner Groves. He's got 13. Black running the baseline. Three from Smith. And good defense by OU. They're contesting everything, and it's one and done. Here's Sherfield. He's yet to put up a shot. They're going to leave him open, so Groves takes it, and Tanner knocks it up and in. I, I don't even think that's possible. <laughs> he just hung in the air for like a three count and got bumped and was still able to finish the play. Let's see if he can knock down the three. Yes! Full court pressure. Nice handoff inside, and Allen is denied at the rim. There's that Sooner defense. Oklahoma hasn't scored in three minutes. Let's see where they turn. Tanner Groves, the back down, the pivot, and Kansas City has a nine-point lead. This is an 11-1 run for the Roos. C.J. Nolan. Kansas City continues to close out on the perimeter on three-point shooters. Yeah, Oklahoma's got to get touches inside. There you go. And it's Tanner Groves banging his way in for Rills one from way deep. And it's back to a one-point lead for Kansas City on that three. He's a multiple-level scorer, this Mitchell. That's 24 made threes for him this year now. One-point lead for Kansas City. Shot clock already down to 12. Backdoor lob and a dunk. Tanner Groves, they've been good with their rotations tonight.
Tanner Groves fires, and he cashes in a three. They're staying away from the in interior of the paint. Individual containment. Yeah. Groves with a little belly bump on the smaller Daniels. Trying to fight his way to the basket. He does him on the baseline. Now, how about for Oklahoma having three, technically three point guards in the floor? That's what it is that. That's playing nice, no question about it. A lot of dribble drive here, and then you got to stay at home on the kick. Cortez 14 gets things initiated off the uh, the pick and roll, nice just shot. like yeah, Uzan does there, and he finds Tanner Groves. Villanova uh, started the game. Mm. They let Oklahoma get ahead. He said the biggest thing he stressed: be the tougher team in the next 20 minutes, Tom. All right, we will see if that happens. It's a two-point game. The last time, all the times these two teams have faced each other, the average margin of victory has been 24.6. I don't think we're going to get them. You better sprint out on the shooter. Even in your days, Raph, he would have got you open with those wiry legs. He'd, <laughs> he'd get you open. Look at this miss. Hey, bro, that's a tough shot. That is a... When he's open, so bullet dodge there for TCU. Mike Miller absorbs some contact. No call. Sooners break in transition. Tanner Groves working on Coles. Jacoby Coles looking for answers. Tanner Coles. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Great call the by Chris play. Jenkins. People forget it was just saying that something you've worked on. You've done it early in the year. It was the last option, but we never got to that in practice. Wow. Ever. That was the only time we ever got to that option. Well, Mike Sheridan, who's the outstanding SID for Villanova, said there was nobody better than Chris Jenkins to make that shot. Oh, how about the alley oop from Cortez? Otherwise, that's an excellent point. We don't have any slippage. Yeah, we'll be okay. I think we'll get him back in. A little pressure down by Villanova with a two-point lead. Offense has kind of stalled for both. Those last couple of minutes. Sherfield's going to play off the ball with Cortez running the point for the moment. I like this little play. It's a staggered dribble handoff. And a duck in. Yeah, he tried to get nice and deep. He did against Longino. They ended up. He didn't play very much. I didn't get a lot of PT down at Duke, and he wanted to put play in time. He said he didn't leave there because he didn't like it. He just was hoping to get more play in time, and he's getting it here at uh, certainly at Ole Miss. Santa Groves gives it up for Shirtfield. He's really becoming a star. Lays off the pass. Oh, how about that? Seven. Guys, a terrific rebounder had over a thousand career rebounds coming into this season. He transferred from Jackson State. Check great hands, excellent offensive rebounder as well. He was really good up there, ultra athletic, very athletic player. Santa Groves commanding the ball with the left hand. Yes, that'll go. Relaxed. Once that the ball gets away, you got to stay focused, you got to stay engaged, and you got to be able to communicate with one another. A little clock malfunction. Well, the ball was checked in, it didn't run. But back at it here in the second half. Sherfield with eight, and Morrell with eight, and Caldwell with eight. The leading scorers in the game. Going here. Hope we can have the same kind of dramatic finish like we did last year. Duke and I. Caldwell with 10, the freshman. Just a little trap defensively, half court trap. Jacob Groves to the paint. He's missed it too. He's, he and his brother have been able to sit and get some time. Oh, right to the oh, goal. He goes oh. on with that left hand. Oklahoma has turned the ball over, but they, they had dead ball turnovers, meaning they've been able to set their defense. That was a live ball. They got back to establish the defense. They want to keep Seton Hall playing five on five, not fast break. Cortez back to Groves. His three switch. Put in his hands. Let him make a play. Sherfield shot deflected. Tanner Groves with the shot. <laughs> Oklahoma will clock their friend as they'll try to eat a lot of it here on this possession. Same thing. They'll get dribble handoff. Get the ball in the, in the, in the high post if they can and. Put the ball in one of their playmakers' hands. Brian Sherfield. There it is. There it is with six <laughs> on the shot clock. Tanner Groves three. And Oklahoma. 26 seven. So there's just, you're going to have to put a bigger body on him or you have to come and help. And they don't want to do that because they want to stay home and take away the three point shots. The ball moving by the Sooners, but. Husker staying right there defensively. Tanner was looking to feed his brother. Instead, will shoot 